Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, not much happened last chapter, we just kind of explored Heavenly Host, um, went down a lot of narrative, narrow corridors. Anyway, um, now that we're here, I need to go take a look at that newspaper. We'll get to the other endings eventually, but I'm gonna, oh, that just popped up. Let me turn down my volume a little bit. There we go. There we go. Okay, now down the hall. Yeah, um, not much happened last episode, to be honest. Um, I need to go read this newspaper. Um, we went downstairs, got the key, all that good jazz. So, did I check this corpse? Let's check. Whatever you do, don't look at the newspaper. And guess what? We're gonna look at the newspaper. Heavenly Post, breaking news, serial kidnapping ends in murder. The good name of Heavenly Host Elementary School has been stained by in blood today as horrific details on the new wave of disappearances are revealed. Over the past month, numerous children have gone missing in the town and authorities quickly turned to kidnapping as the most likely explanation. So, numerous children, I guess, that, that implies, you know, that's semi-accurate. That, that, that is pretty accurate, to be honest, but that implies more than just, oh, I guess it was four, technically. Anyway, now investigators have localized Okay, the whereabouts of these children and their findings are far worse than anyone could have anticipated with the bodies of the absconded Abscondited. I have no idea what that word means, so you'll see the Wikipedia article here in a second. When discovered within a Elementary Host Elementary School building on September 18, 1973, around 7 p.m., authorities further revealed that a male instructor from the school was found with them, alive but near cataronic. Man, they're using all the big words here. Holding a pair of bloodied scissors. Each of the corpse had its tongue severed and removed. Grotesque mutilations far... Okay. Far too grotesque, blah, 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 disturbing... And just, uh, whatever that said. Pages torn at that point where the bottom of the half of the article is nowhere to be found. Alright, spooky stuff. How awful. I think I heard about this through once before. Not me, but I guess it did happen long before we were born, eh? so we shouldn't be too surprised. Dunk. Hmm. I can't remember, is this where they lock us in? I think they might lock us in. Fix the wall, is it? The decoration won't open. So here, I think we just kind of wander around a bit. Seem to remember this being in uh, blood covered as well. Let's hate one another with all we have. I remember this being particularly unnerving the first time I played it because I just didn't know what was going to happen. And this is kind of what I'm talking about when I describe Corpse Party as let me out, 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 let me out. Yeah, this is what I'm describing here when I say Corpse Party is probably the best horror game I've ever played. It's easily the most effective, it's the scariest horror game I've Played in all honesty, I've played Amnesia and a couple other horror games, but they aren't nearly as effective as this game. Okay, I think we gotta do this for a little bit longer. I think there's normally like children laughing in repeated fear. So I think we need to go examine this corpse again. Whatever you do, don't look at the newspaper. It'd be awesome if the message changed. Post, you'll never leave this room. <laughs> Man, I'm already getting chills. Jeez. Ah, yeah, my, my uh, very expensive sound system is kicking in, and needless to say, I'm uncomfortable. Try reading it one more time. Oh god, I hate this music. <laughs> and Naomi was oh, freaking out there. 
freaking out. She's not the only one who's freaking out. Anyway, down this way. Up this way. Can we get out now? Nope. Okay. I'm lost now. I guess I am never going to leave this room. So that's new. Nope. Man, this is... Okay. That scared me for a second, but it's just Seiko! There's no way out! Oh, what do we do? This is your fault, you know. What? How? So, just never mind. So again, we're reinforcing the message. Hatred, no matter how justified, can turn you into a monster. Heavenly Post, you will never leave this room. Oh, this is just so masterful. So I think if we try the door, yeah, there it goes. Rattle, rattle. Rattle, rattle, rattle. What happens if we examine the skeleton? Huh. I don't think I've ever gotten that name tag. Oh, no, I think I've gotten all the name tags before, but... You have inevitably will post-leave this room. Okay, one more thing, guys, and then we'll re leave this room forever. We are going to check the candle. And... I don't know why she freaks out like that whenever I point near it. Okay. Okay, I, I lied. One more time. I'm going to check the chalkboard. Nothing. Okay, let's get out of this room forever. Boom. Oh, man, that scared the crap out of me. <sighs> Hold up. Oh, no, no, it's gone. What is... The paper doll scrap I got from Ayumi. Oh, the charm? Mine st mine stole my student ID holder. It's weird how Seiko isn't coming out here. Crap, I put mine in my pocket. It must have fallen out somewhere. I keep telling you, you need to put things away before they get lost. Now oh, I'm sad. Got a good reason to be sad there, Seiko, but she doesn't know why yet. So, now we're gonna go downstairs. Go through Mayu's guts again. But then again, that's getting into spoiler territory right there. Now we will go into the nurse's room. I'm very curious how this is gonna play down. Use the infirmary key. The door is now unlocked. Especially considering how loose these controls are. Doesn't the lights like flicker a bit whenever I come in here? Guess not. Oh well. It's an old fashioned space heater. It's so full of ash that it'll probably never light again. Box of matches. Yes, we want the matches. I don't think you could ever grab the matches beforehand. Anyway, we're getting ahead of ourselves. I need to reread that because I didn't bother to read it. Medicine and tonics, along with a single bottle of rubbering alcohol. Cutting myself, anyway. I don't trust anything in here. Alright, so now we'll save. We're gonna save down here for reasons. You'll find out later, but until then. Wonder why that has such a slow fade on it. What's in here? Pale okay, scissors. Both blades are literally covered in blood. Lined up each one of the shelves. The music stopped? Yeah, I think the music stopped. Wash your hands with soap. It's the bloody lung. Touch the wall. It seems as someone planted over each of the organs with actual blood. 
What about the sink? Handle turns, not a drop of water comes out. Now, well, let's take a nap. Somehow I expected the de beds to be a lot dustier. They're surprisingly clean, that's good though. You can finally rest your weary bones, Naomi. Yeah, I think I'm gonna lie down for a bit. All tucked away in the corner like that? I've always preferred nooks and corners. They just make me feel safe, I guess. Ah ha ha, just know what you mean. I'm the exact same way. I wonder if there's anything in here we could use to soothe that ankle of yours. Sit tight, Naomi. I'm gonna take a look. Okay, thanks a bunch. Don't thank me yet. I've not done anything. Ugh. Excuse me. Ugh. Excuse me. Ugh. Ah, this will do nicely. And a makeshift splint from in some bandages that sprains a goner. Now hold still. You're a real lifesaver. How's it feel? Feels great, Seiko. Thank you. Hee hee hee. Uh, you've sprained your ankle pretty badly before, just not... Uh, I don't know. I can't. I wasn't fast enough, guys. Sorry. Wish I had some ice or something to put on it, though. No worries. You've done more than enough already. You're, you're asleep now? That's fair enough, I guess. Glad you agree. Hee <laughs> hee. It's slumberland for me. You really are an oddball. You know that? So, hey, Naomi, hmm? If we find Mochita, have you thought about what you want to do with him? Oh, sorry about that, guys. Eh? Well, you know what they say when two people are faced with difficult situations, shall we say? It often leads to love, sweet love. You shouldn't well up all you should well up all your courage and confess your feelings to him get all girly with him in this creepy place and your cuteness factor will grow three sizes in his eyes I bet snork <laughs> I mean, guess that's what that's supposed to be but yeah swear with you around it almost feels like we're just shooting a breeze back at school like nothing ever happened ha 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 this is why I'm not a voice actor. Thanks for your advice. I'll think about it. Uh -huh. I hope we find him soon. Uh huh. Kind of don't, though, do you? You're thinking about how you wish you didn't have to be put through all this. You want to see him, but you wish you could rest easy knowing that he's safe and sound back home rather than wandering around here, am I right? Must be those maternal instincts of yours kicking in, huh? You're a real deep one, to be sure. She may sound like an idiot, but she's right on all counts. That's why she's best girl. Guess there's no fool in Seiko. Been pretty curt with her since I got here. I should make, make sure I apologize later. Hmm... And what was that exactly? See, that ash of yours, I saw Dr. Drool. So weird. So yeah, right off the bat, that sounds way more suppressed and... How else should I say it? I guess suppressed and condensed, it sounds farther away. It doesn't sound like Yuka screaming, to be honest. That was Yuka again. I heard it too, I'll go take a look. 
Stay here and rest. I'll be back in a jiffy. I don't think that's such a good idea. I should go, too. I insist. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Just keep that ass parked in the bed. You got it? That's the modern-day lingo working its way in. This came out in 2008? 2009? Something like that. I think 2008. 2008 sounds about right. All for nothing. All right, I'll stay here. And we'll see what good that does us. Ooh. Ankle really does feel a lot better. Psycho definitely has a knack for caretaking. Sigh. Miss you and the others. Satoshi, I wonder what they're all doing right now. Grumble, grumble. Gotta say, that was a pretty impressive reaction. Hmm. The sadistic streak. I've heard of a boy who can hit a note like that when he screams. I know lots of boys who can do that. He saved me. Don't be an ass, Yoshiki. Yoshiki. Okay, okay, let's not have any fighting. I have to admit, though, his reaction was awfully cute. Funny enough, I don't think that dialogue was there whenever the scare scene happened, but oh well. All extra things. Just want to see him. Why did this have to happen? So, we got that sprained ankle. Anything in the book? At least it appears to be a journal. In reality, it's more like a model fused to the dex desk s s s surface it can't be lifted and the pages can't be turned so let's blow this oh wait before we do that gotta save I would hate to have an accidental something happen all right up and at him down we go and out the door what? Why is the door locked? Closer inspection, there's vis no visible bolts keeping the doors closed. Or any evidence that it's locked at all. Wait, but if it's not locked, then why would it open? Won't budge, it says, if it's completely fastened by invisible bonds. There's the children laughing. Are those children? Let's all go on a field trip together over summer vacation. Anything happening? No. Who? What? Anything on the journal? Old well, journal on the desk. Nothing happening. Oh, you know what? I should check if I can grab something. Nope. Head hurts so bad, there's this ringing in my ears. So, notice a little subtle change right there? Door is latticed. Man! I need to, uh, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Rooting in place. All the big words. They're using all the big words for this translation. Is, is someone there? Can I move? Nopey, nopey. Sounds like a ballpoint pen scribbling away on a sheet of paper. Did they have ballpoint pens in the 70s? I'd be surprised if they did. What was that? I can barely hear that, but... Sachi... Have you come to find me? I think they played the audio way... Oh! Black smudge. 
Right off the bat, that doesn't look nearly as terrifying as the one in repeated fear. Eek, 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 eek. I need to get away. Okay, so yeah, right off the bat, it moves a lot slower than it did in repeated fear. Okay. Which way are you going? Which way are you going, smudging? I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna grab it. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Well, this way it is. I outwitted you. How's it feel? Okay, I'm gonna try the... No. Oh, no. So, gonna try the door. Can't move the door. It's no use! Where did all this hair come? Yes. Will it do anything? isn't strong enough to do significant damage. Okay. Let's see if I can trick this guy. Oh, you can move over the holes? That's no fair. Alright. Up and out. No, 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 no. Up! 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 Jeez. Louise. Okay. Right off the bat, I'm screwed. Yes, I need rubbing alcohol. <laughs> Man, this is just dumb. It's not nearly as fast as it was in repeat here, so I need to put the rubbing alcohol. Kaboom! Sorry, I, I pressed that too fast. Let's blow this popsicle joint. Oh my good. What? She was stuck in the door. Hmm. So yeah, right off the bat, that wasn't nearly as good as it was in repeat here. But at least, I think it had creepy eyes. I remember the drawing having creepy eyes, but it didn't have creepy eyes there. Maybe it was just a bl black smudge. Anyway. <laughs> cough, cough, wheeze. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> it's kind of weird how she vomits after that, but I guess ghostly contact does that to your body. Yeah. Yeah, I can. Doesn't even look like she vomited. It mostly looks like she just kind of spat everywhere. But I guess that's the same thing as vomiting. Anyway. Hey, look who it is. It's Seiko. Naomi. Naomi, what happened? Are you okay? Seiko. Sorry for the mess. What are you talking about? Don't apologize for barfing, girl. You poor girl. Blech. Everything's okay. You'll feel better now that that's out of your system. Need me to rub your back? Oof, I think I'll be fine. Thanks, though. Did you find Yuka? Uh-huh. Looks like we really are the only two people here. The only two living people, anyway. This is, place is just way too quiet. How about you, Naomi? Is your leg any better? Are you up? Are you okay to be up and about? While I was resting, I was suddenly attacked by this creepy black apparition thing. What? Oh my god, are you alright? think so. We should consider that room off limits from here on out, though. That's fine, I'm just glad you're okay. I guess we're better keep moving then. Can you stand? Yeah. But, where are we supposed to go? Hmm, well already been pretty much everywhere we can go in this godforsaken school. And the only other people we've even come across are all dead. Seiko. Damn it. There I go again. It's hopeless. We're finished. I'm so tired. I'm acting like a child again. 
Naomi, come on. It's not that bad. We'll figure something out. Class 2 Niners. Never say die, right? We're invincible. Got a hairdresser's appointment first thing in the morning tomorrow, and I tend to keep it. Then, in the afternoon, let's say you and I go take get our bikes fixed. Sounds like a plan, right? If we make it back alive, sure. Ow. Sorry, step up, stepped on something sharp. Is this what I'm doing? I just can't seem to hold back. Amy, are you, like, super duper tired or something? This is not like you. Come on, raise that chin. The only thing we have to do is fear is fear itself. Uh, I love that. What the hell are you so chipper? Hmm? You just keep smiling and laughing. Do I? Tell me, how long is that going to last if it turns out we can never go home again? I wonder if there... I, I think something just flashed right there. We'll figure something out. That's a croc, and you know it. Croc of what? Must have finally cracked under the pressure. My, this whole situation is just so much more than my soul can bear. But just like that, I was breathing, berating her, abusing her. All I had running through my head was pain and sadness. It's like a baby throwing a hissy fit. I was crying out irrationally, and I couldn't stop. Venomous words were flowing from my mouth as someone has turned on a spigot, and all I can do is moan, complain, and belittle. I really was behaving just like a spoiled brat. Here. I'm sure our family's going to be really worried about us. We're going to search and search, but they'll never find us. It'll be a terrible burden for him. You're wrong. How so? About it being a burden. When you lose a loved one, you cherish that person's memory. It's never a burden. You just want to do do whatever you can, whatever you can to make her proud. You just want to. So do you. So what is wrong with me? Seiko's mom disappeared several years ago. I know that. Why am I putting her through all this grief? That's how I think people we leave behind are going to feel. I don't know what it, how it is for you and your family. But normal people don't work that way. Naomi? Sorry. How about we split up? We can cover more ground that way. Maybe if we can find a clue to help us get out of here. Seems like the most efficient plan of attack, don't you think? Who? Who says things like that? I have to apologize. I want to get home just as much as you do, back to my dad and you and everyone else. And I sure as hell don't want to make them worry about me. This is all my fault, I have to apologize. But most of all, I don't want you of all people to speak to me like that. I'm sorry. I'm... I'm so... I... I'm sorry too, but it's okay. If that's what you think we should do, then let's split up. I'll go this way. What the hell is wrong with me? I couldn't even manage to say the word sorry. Go away, Steam Notification. No, be gone. And so, in this nexus of closed spaces, where humans are scattered and imprisoned and killed. 
two friends who should have been thankful just for the small favor of being trapped together in this unforgiving place were quickly and easily divided. My petty obstinacy, all the big words, towards Seiko would come to be the biggest regret in my life as the consequences of that heat ex heat ex heated exchange were far more dire than I could have imagined. <laughs> Naomi! <laughs> that jerk. Forget, I take control of Seiko here. Yeah, give me just a second, guys. I need a little break. Nope, nope, no start menu. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're back. Uh, now I'm going to examine this corpse for some reason. Several comfort up sheets. The time of death. We four noble mus musketeers. We've already read this. I just want to make double check. Anyway, we're going to go down this way, and I don't think we're going to run into much trouble. I think a cutscene springs from... Oh, 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 jeez. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh, yep, there it goes. I think I just heard someone call out. I don't think anything actually followed the voice. Uh, no? Let's try hitting saying no. I think I heard someone calling out. Follow the voice? Yes. S ellipses. The best form of communication. That was the first time, huh? First time I've ever fought with Naomi like that. Butter, wheeze. From the moment Seiko and I parted ways, the fear I'd been harboring since I got here just kept growing stronger and stronger. I felt like something else was in my head, like I was under some alien influence. My mentally distraught state, I ran all the way through the building, frantically searching for Seiko. I just kept calling her name, over and over again. When I finally came back to my senses, I found myself standing in the third floor hallway. Seiko! Seiko, where are you? Come on, Seiko, don't leave me by myself in here. <laughs> Seiko? Is that you? I'm gonna check this corpse real fast. I'm not sure if I checked it out. Pile of half have haphazardly strewn human bones. Sasha Shinome. Yeah, I haven't gotten that one. Piece of paper on the ground. Corpse's lifeless hands. God will surely save me. Well, this, let's just say this. Uh, Game and religion don't exactly go well together, but we'll find out that event. Well, we won't find out that out in this game. We will find that out in the next game. But I'm not sure I'm going to do the next game, unless this somehow gets popular, which I doubt it will. Anyway. Boom. Boom. It's in the bucket. A clump of unidentifiable meat rusted in the bucket with it completely filled with maggots. Hmm. 
Hmm. I wonder who that is. What's in here? Nothing. What's in here? Nothing. What's in here? Nothing. What's in here? Nothing. And for the moment, we've all been waiting for. Stall door is locked from the inside. Someone's definitely in there. Seiko! No! Why? Why? No? No! Okay, um... That was way too early. Anyway, Seiko, you're alive. Hold on, I'll get you down. Uh, no, 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 no. I gotta... Strangle. Oh, I'm sorry, what do I do? What do I do? Ugh. Surround Seiko's neck is attached directly to the ceiling and there's nothing at her feet. Any attempts to help her are just strangling her further. Check the mirror. Black hair. Down this way. Grab the bucket. Pour it all over you. Splurt, splurt, scutter. Uh, if it will save Seiko. It's a nice... <laughs> Significant number of maggots have found their way onto Naomi's hands and skirt. Acquired the filthy bucket. Let's get in there, guys. And... I'm gonna save you, Seiko. I'm right here. Huh? Clang. Oh, that wasn't nearly as good as it was in Repeated Fear. Fell from Naomi's hands. The blank eyes, Senko swing back and forth slowly in her noose. All life had been completely drained from her face. I'll let the audio take over for this one. Uh, well, that wasn't appropriate. Anyway, there we go. No. That's the appropriate response. Why? Why would you hang yourself? You were smiling and laughing all the time. Oh, it's gotten colder in here all of a sudden. I wonder why. Can she say we find a way out of here together? Stop this. Don't leave me all by myself. Say something. Seiko? I want to apologize to you for what I said. Excellent music, just FYI. Up until now, up, up until a few hours before, I was laughing and playing in school with my best friend. Now here she was, right in front of my eyes, lifeless, hanging from the noose. How can I possibly accept that as reality? I can't believe this is real. I refuse to accept it. This can't happen. 
continued in chapter 2. With that, we finish chapter 1. Now, uh, for right now... Oh, or do we have credits? Corpse Party Blood Covered. Eh, that wasn't in Repeated Fear. It's a little cool, I guess, but it looks extremely low res here. Anyway, um, you'll see... Oh, it is credits. Uh, I guess I'll just wait this out then. Okay, um, I'm gonna put the me reading, reading off the whatchamacallit. I'm gonna put, I probably got all Makoto Kedwin scenario slash game design. I wonder if he's the guy who wrote the series, because the guy who wrote the series is a blood drive. Now, Hamamoto, music sound effects. But yeah, um, for right now I'll just talk about the differences. This is... Definitely the weaker of the two versions from just a comparison. Now, I'm not, and that's not really this is game's fault because this came out two years before Repeated Fear, and whenever Repeated Fear came out, uh, it was significantly better. It had great art style, had better controls. I can tell you that right off the bat. These these ones are a little loose, and but I you've heard me complain that, about that all the time. Koto Nagima QA. Wow, one person was QA. One person was QA. Let me. That's not very um good, but oh well. Cast. Satoshi Mochida Sinjin. Yeah, I need to take a comparison and see if these is the original. I know it's not the original cast. I can already tell. That. Yeah. Yuka doesn't even have a watch we call it a real voice actor. Vita Mininichi. Or Sora. But then again, I no, this was recorded long, long, long before uh voice actors took different roles. Child Spirit A. They don't even have names for the child spirits. My. Who the heck is my? Grudge. We haven't even encountered the antique doll yet. But I guess they're doing it for spoiler reasons, because they prop. Well, this game is a little weird, because it was split up into episodes before it was released. Like, this was episode 1, the next one was episode 2, then they had episode 3, and episode 4, episode 5, then finally episode 6, because Japan's weird like that. Team Gris Gris. It's a cool logo right there. Anyway, we'll be right back here in a second. I'm going to read off the name tags and I'm going to show off the different endings. Uh, yeah, I'm going to read off the name tags and I'm going to show off the different endings here in a second. But for right now, we'll um, just fade out. Extra chapter is available. See you in a little bit, guys. All right, we're back. Now, uh, whatchamacallit, whatchamacallit, I forgot what I was about to say. Anyway, um, this is ending number one. Now, this is what happens if we yell for Seiko just to leave us alone. Just leave me alone, okay? You're a jerk and you don't care about anyone's feelings but your own. Sure don't care about yours, stupid Seiko. So, noticing a trend here with these... Well, no, you can't possibly notice a trend. We haven't done enough footage to notice a trend with the message. But I talked about it earlier, and... Um, I can't remember what I was going to say. So, uh, yeah, we already... That jerk. Uh, does it re-trigger? Okay, I'm gonna find out sooner or later, but if it does re-trigger, you won't be seeing this. Alright, everybody, we're back for real this time, because, um, reasons. Anyway, we just got out of the infirmary, Seiko disappeared, and now we're gonna go find her. Ugh. <sighs> yep. So, what's down here? Seiko, is that you? 
So right off the bat, you'll notice this isn't much different from the whatchamacallit. From the original ending, the true ending that we got. But I think, I think whenever they released this, it was kind of a just... This first chapter was just kind of a proof of concept. But once we get in here, there will be a bit more to talk about. Already at 110. Not 110. Already at an hour and ten minutes of recording, so as you can tell, I'm a little exhausted. Alright. Uh, check dish. Stall door is locked from the inside. Someone's definitely in there. Boom. Boom. It's Seiko. No. Why? Why? No. No. Naomi. So notice how the voice acting comes in way before it should. I'll get you down. Ugh, I didn't think you had to get the bucket for this part, but I guess you do. Uh, let's just skip this, because we've already read it three times already. Alright, now we're going to go check on our friend. Is she going to be okay? Nope. Filthy bucket fell from Naomi's hands. Oh man, I'm tired. Anyway, with blank eyes, Senko swung back and forth slowly in her noose, all life would be completely drained from her face. Why? Why would you hang yourself? You were smiling and laughing all this time. Didn't you say that we'd find a way out together? Stop this. Don't leave me all by myself. Say something. There we go. Heh <laughs> heh. Look who it is, our badly pixelated friends. Well, we haven't met them yet, but we will in the next chapter. I can't move. I can't even speak. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm really, really, really scared. Chortle choke. Somehow or another, Naomi found herself with a large pair of sewing scissors in her hand. Her mouth was agape, she was lowering the open scissors as if intending to swallow them. <laughs> can feel the scissors blades clinging against my molars and I can hear it too. Ugh. What am I doing? Why would I try to swallow a pair of scissors? My hands are moving on their own. No, stop. See uh, what I mean by effective use of black screens? Now, I don't know about you, but swallowing a pair of scissors would be pretty painful in my eyes. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I don't have much to say. I'm just uh, 
figured out the hard way that the credits are unskippable. Game over. Wrong end number one. I'll see you in wrong end number two, guys. Do, 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 do. Alright everybody, now we're back. Um, we're gonna find out what happens if we sit around and do nothing. Oh, by the way, I figured out why it was running so slow. Because for some reason, I had the frame rate turned on to 29 frames per second, which, as you know, is not a good frame rate. I don't know how that, how that affects the game speed, but for some reason it was just making it slow and sluggish for some reason. So now we're going to go over here. Oh, no, wait, we aren't going to go over there. We're going to go try bu busting open the door. Oh, can't get out. Now we're going to go back up. We're going to try to trigger this event. Stop it. Stop it. My head, it hurts. Alright, now let's try to open that door again. Now we got the hair on the door. And we're going to trigger the Black Spirit. There it is. Now, let it consume us. Oh god. Oh, that is a bad position to be in. Oh. Oh, jeez. There's no question this is a malevolent force. I believe we got three hits in before we die. Okay. Oh no. Oh, oh, I regret this already. Oh, jeez. Well, this can't possibly be taken out of context. Man. Let me go. No, no. Swish. Ugh, what's happening? Ugh. Black mist begins flowing to Naomi's body, through her nose, her mouth, her ears, her eyes. No time out at all, she's completely engulfed. Vision darkening and consciousness fading. The last thing Naomi ever sees. It's the widely grinning visage of a woman she's never seen before. Game over. Wrong end. Two of two. Man, that is so anticlimactic. Repeated fear, the face actually shows up and it scares the crap out of you. Burr, burr, burr. Anyway, that was ending... Two, I believe. Running, running, wrong, wrong ending two. Uh, why can't I get out? Oh, hey look, a hand. Anyway, see you in the next ending, guys. Alright, welcome back. Now, before we go any farther, let's read those victim. Ugh. Okay, this is a weird way to do this. But anyway. Sensei Academy for Girls. So, remember the note? It talked about the Four Musketeers. This is a very Dark, dark Souls-esque way of conveying your plot. But this talks about how... Well, it doesn't have the picture. In the PSP version... It has the picture of the corpse, but this is the smashed rib cage with the girl with the blunt instrument. These are the four musketeers of whatever that school was. 
Sensei Academy for Girls class. One, two. I, two, that is. This is Yuzaha, Yuzaha Mikami. Sasha Shinonome. A rib cage smash with a blunt, blunt instrument. To, so that means they were killed by you know who. If you know who that is. Skull cracked, op cracked open with a blunt instrument. Skull cracked open with a blunt instrument. So one of those. Hmm. It's weird how they were all killed by the same guy. But we'll find out who that is in the, in the next couple chapters. So we're done with Sensei Academy for. Oh no! Victims. Sensei Academy for Girls. Sato Municipal Brotherhood High. Shin Atachi Misono uh, trapped in classroom, starved to death, caught in trap, bled out. So if I'm remembering this right, I think these guys are sisters. I think one of them might be a guy, but I think one was sisters because the one that the one that bled out, she got her tendons cut from I think it was a bear trap anyway, and she fell down and she bled out. As for this guy, he just got trapped in the classroom. I think he scrawled the one in the, whatchamacallit. He scrawled the note on the floor telling, telling us not to get it. And that's it for chapter one. So for right now, we'll move on to, we'll move on to chapter two. You'll see it up here pretty fast. Not, not very long after this. These don't take a whole lot of effort to edit it. It's just kind of getting all the everything compiled together. Anyway, I'll see you soon, and see you next time, guys. Until then.